this is Carolyn with Carolyn's Paper Therapy. I'm back today to continue working on my Bluebird of Happiness journal uh, where I am using the uh, Eleanor's Di Diary collection from Shabby Art Boutique, which is available on her uh, members only uh, craft room page. Uh, if you don't have that uh, if you haven't joined the craft room, you can use other um, kits or artwork to do the same type of journal I'm doing. So this is kind of developing as I go. Um, again, I wanted to tell you that I'm using a travel journal and I ordered these from Walmart. They measure, um, let's see five and a half by eight and a quarter. And when I ordered those, I, I ordered a box of 24. So I have quite a few to do. And I wanted to do something a little different for my uh, Bluebird of Happiness journal. What I've decided to do is decorate the front and back and inside covers. I'm going to stencil lines on um, most of the uh, off-white pages that you see here. I will decorate them somewhat, uh, but I want this to be a writing journal. So in order to have some features of our uh, kit, I wanted to decorate the covers and the inside front covers a little bit on the pages, but I have taken some of her smaller uh, pages that are printed like this, and then I made a solid on the back, solid design, and I have chosen uh, three of those to insert right in the center of the journal. And I will probably fasten this in with a, um, a ribbon or a, kind of an elastic piece. Uh, we'll have to see when I get done. But what I wanted to do today is just show you this basic outline, which, um, you know, what I do in here may change, but this is what I'm gonna do in the center of the book. And I wanted to have a feature in there, in the center of this, that had several pockets. And I remembered a video from Treasure Books uh, where she has a, a 12 by 12 sheet of paper that she's used and made multiple pockets. And uh, I'll put a link to her video because uh, hers is 12 by 12. Uh, because of the size of the smaller journal pages, I decided to cut my 12 by 12 sheet down to nine by nine. And here's the process you go through to make this little center fold booklet. First, and I've pre kind of pre-folded this so that I don't have to do everything on video, but first you want to fold it in half this way. And if you have a design that has an up and down, uh, you'll want to take a look at that because this will end up facing this way. So I didn't do that on this, but if you have an up and down design, you want to have it facing this way and fold it in half this way. Then open it back up and you'll want to uh, score two and a half inches in from this side and two and a half inches in from this side. I have this scoreboard that I used if you don't, just measure it and fold it in. After you've done those folds, go ahead and fold it in and make your creases. Then open it back up. And take your scissors and cut just into this fold on each side. And that will be the, the, short, the short side. Once you've done that, uh, take these corners here and fold them in to the center.
just, just inside of the center so that it's not too bulky. I'll get this out of the way now. And after you've folded those in, go ahead and glue those down. Okay, after you've glued those down, let's see, you want to fold this side down and this side up. And this will make your pockets. What we want to end up with is a pocket on this side and this side and here and here. So what we're gonna do here is just glue just glue this little bit right here. So just run a bead of glue down the very edge uh, just so that it glues this, leaving the pocket open and leaving this pocket open again on this side. Now I use regular, I use paper weight. You could also use um, you could also use uh, cardstock if you wanted to. Now that you have your four pockets here, 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 and here, this folds in half and can be placed right in the center of your pages. And of course, we will decorate these and probably put pockets on the outside too. And this will also be fastened in. The other way you could do it is if you wanted to um, turn it out this way and uh, glue it down on a page, or how, however you want to do it. I'm gonna do it this way. So this is our little center fold for our travel journal, Blue Bird of Happiness travel journal. This will be decorated here. We'll decorate these pockets. We'll have inserts for the pockets. Same on this side and then this will go on. And I chose this black and white just because it's a interesting contrast to the really uh, pale colors that we're using. And I thought it might add interest to the book. And I have some pieces left over that I'll probably use just to tie the whole design together. So um, the next thing I'm gonna do, I believe, is um, start working on uh, the inside covers and the back cover. And so I'll be back. I'll see you soon. This is Carolyn with Carolyn's Paper Therapy and I'm back to uh, show you some progress that I've made on the uh, Bluebird of Happiness journal uh, that I have begun. Uh, this is made from the kit uh, Eleanor's Diary Collection from Shabby Art Boutique, and this is available to members of the craft room, uh, a, an exclusive page that she has uh, started. And um, if you're interested in this in the future, 
you can join uh, whenever she opens up membership again. But the ideas that I'm showing here can be used in any journal, so I hope you will enjoy. Uh, this is partially done, and I just wanted to go ahead and share what I've done so far uh, to get a video back out there. Um, I haven't made any in a little while, so uh, it's time to start trying to catch up. I'm finally finished with tax season, so uh, I can get started on this again. Uh, I did a video for the cover, uh, so you can look back to the video just prior to this to see the cover. And what I've used is a travel journal that is a brown craft um, cardstock cover and off-white plain pages inside. And what I decided to do was uh, decorate the cover, uh, the inside front cover and the first page, uh, and then uh, put an insert in the center. And I will do the same in the back and on the back cover. And then I will use stencils and uh, different things that won't add any volume to this. And that way, uh, this journal can be used for lots of writing. So there's the cover. And um, I want to share these few things that I've done. This is the inside front cover. And I have covered it with a piece of the blue stripe paper. And I made a pocket out of one of these beautiful uh, pieces of ephemera with a nice shape to it. I decorated the pocket with some green um, cheesecloth that's from a uh, table runner, which is an excellent source uh, for the cheesecloth. It's nice and loose and ravelly and wrinkled like we like. They have a uh, kind of a taupe off-white or natural color, uh, the green, and a burgundy. I've put an old piece of sheet music on here and a bluebird. And I'm choosing words from my Tim Holtz um, little booklet of stick-on birds here. And I chose to do the black uh, words because I am, um, uh, well, in some place, places, because I'm using some black in the center. And at the first of this video, I showed you this um, little folder where I've picked up the black. The words here are believe in yourself and all little birds sing. So I gave the little birds some notes and a heart here where it's singing a little song. Inside this pocket is a long tag that I made out of just a piece of um, the cardstock that I had printed a design on both sides. I cut it to size and used this hole punch or punch to do the larger uh, tag. And it punches out, you insert it and it punches out this pretty top. I covered the um, front of the tag with some lace, uh, added um, vintage sheet music, a couple of roses, ephemera, and our bird with some little notes and a heart and tied a bow at the top. Uh, there weren't any tags really long enough, so I decided to just cut my own on this one. So there's writing space here and on the back here. And to complete this page, um, I used a stencil. And I will be using this stencil and others that are delicate like this throughout the journal. This next page, I um, put a sheet of um, vintage sheet music and covered the page and inked the edges. Let's see. This pocket here is made from this same paper turned the other direction. It's just a piece of scrap paper that was glued down to make this pocket. I wanted the sheet music to show, so I only put the pocket down halfway on the page. Uh, the decorations on the pocket are a piece of our ephemera, another bluebird with some notes, and be awesome today words 
and I'll just a touch of the um, stenciling uh, to match this. Inside the pocket, I've placed this uh, journal card, which is a piece of the Fussy Cut Ephemera. I stamped Love You on, on it and drew some little hearts and colored them in and used this uh, tiny rose glued at the top as kind of a tab. I took a piece of our um, uh, <laughs> tool. I always have trouble with that word. I need to sit a sign over here that says, says tool. A piece of the tool with the puffy, kind of puffy paint on it that I got at the Dollar Tree. I just tied a knot in it to make kind of a little bow and then added a piece of bling. All my papers are printed on the back too, so that if they're used for a journal card, they have some print on the back. So we have our music here. This just slides down in the pocket. And at the bottom where the music showed, I covered it with a piece of lace so that the music could peek through. Another piece of our tool, uh, one of the little ribbon fussy cuts from our kit, and another piece of bling. And so that's all I've done in the front part of the book. And on the inside, I had showed you that I was gonna take some of the pages and make kind of a booklet that inserts in the center here. This will probably be tied in. I'll first fasten it together, sew it together, and then I will tie it into our bigger book. So I'm gonna remove the large part of the book and just show you these. This is kind of a work in progress, so I'll just share what I've done so far. <clears throat> These decorative pages, I'm trying to leave without too much uh, added decoration on them because this one has this beautiful rose and um, some handwriting in the background that's so beautiful. I added a bird at the bottom, one of our fussy cut little uh, bluebirds and I added some little feet and some notes with my black ink pen. I gathered up some lace for a ruffle here and glued it down and glued down some of this little piece of ephemera with the words, best day ever. <clears throat> Our next page is one of the uh, envelopes and tags and journal card sets that I made uh, using my Cricut and my tag maker um, punch. So there's a video on that, a couple of videos back from this one if you want to go back and look at that. But this is the little envelope that I made and I decided to glue it on here as a pocket. So it's glued on three sides. I added a little ephemera here with space for the words, choose to shine. This flower here is used as a tab closure. So you can open up the envelope and take out the little journal card. And I have stamped, life doesn't have to be perfect to be wonderful. I'm trying to use my stamps and my die cuts and my Cricut and uh, things that I have a little bit more because I have all this um, that I can add to the journals besides just the papers. So anyway, this is some word stamps that I have. I've used the same color of ink that I have uh, inked the edges here. So as you can see, I had printed the green uh, with the rosebuds on the back of this so that when you open the um, envelope up, you see the pretty design. And this just folds right back down into that flower for a closure. And then what I did was uh, with the other journal card, I had glued it on first and have it kind of tucked in under the edge of this and made another pocket. And in that pocket, I made a skinny little tag with a ribbon tied at the top. And this was made with my uh, tag punch in the smaller sizes. So that fits in there. And then these two fit in the pocket made by the envelope. 
So I think I'm finished with that page unless I want to just add a little something on the tags. I have not done anything on this page. Um, I don't know if I will. I may add some lace to some of these pages. Uh, this page here, I, I tore a piece of our uh, paper from our kit and made a side pocket. And in the side pocket, um, this is actually a mistake I made. Uh, I saw a video and got all excited and I did it wrong. So this was supposed to be um, together like this and then open up long and I didn't cut it right. So this is actually a, a long a piece of cardstock that's scored in three places evenly. And then uh, because it didn't work like I wanted it to, I just went ahead and glued that together, which made a page. So I decided to make this into a little booklet. So this is one of the um, pieces of ephemera, a uh, journal card, I guess, from our kit. And I glued down some lace first that would hang over the edge a little bit and um, cut this in half because I thought it was gonna work like it was supposed to, but it didn't. So uh, I got a little bit ahead of myself and didn't understand really what I was doing. So anyway, it made a nice little booklet and I tuck it in here so that the lace shows. I haven't done anything on this page. This page here, uh, I used a piece of our green uh, paper and cut a little tab in the side and made a set side pocket by gluing down the three sides. This is uh, one of the beautiful dies that I've got. Uh, a lot of my die cuts come from Spellbinders and uh, I have rejoined their uh, kit club so I will have a lot more dies to share. Uh, this just adds a little something different to the journal besides um, just the papers that are provided. So um, I used it and it has a little panel here uh, that could have been cut out and then the words for you inside. But I left the, the white panel in there and I used, um, I fussy cut out the little wreath with the bird's nest in it from our kit. Um, it's got the little blue birds with its little eggs in the nest built in the wreath. Many of us have seen that happen on our front doors. In the center, I put the words, Practice Kindness. This is a piece of the green um, cheesecloth from that um, table runner. And this uh, little flower is made from um, some uh, touches that I have. Where are they? Well, there's three sizes of flowers, three different little punches, and each size, each flower is a different size. And so I just um, kind of turn up the edges, uh, ink the edges a little bit, and kind of alternate the colors and stack them and glue them down and put a pearl in the middle for these flowers. I really love those. So they'll, you'll see more of those in this journal. I've put two tags inside this pocket. One is a has a pocket on it that is half of one of the journal cards. And inside the pocket is a heart and another little journal card. I need to ink those. I haven't done that yet. But those will be there and I will probably put some kind of a little tie on that one. That just slides down in there. And then this one I uh, did a tag with a side pocket and then a pocket on top of that. So the side pocket is just a piece of our paper that we've used here, ripped and cut to fit, glued on the sides, and it makes a side pocket for our journal card. Again, I haven't inked everything, so I'll ink those. This is one of the journal cards that I've glued down um, uh, to make a pocket. I may come back and put a little bluebird or something on this and then a um, tag inside. I usually kind of go through and put things together and then I'll come back and do more embellishment 
uh, later, and I'll share all that with you. So these just slide down in this side pocket. And this is our little, um, our little folder that we made uh, that I showed you at the beginning of the video that is made from a single piece of paper. Um, I used, I cut mine to nine by nine so it would fit in here. Uh, the uh, uh, woman that I watched make this, made it make this, used a 12 by 12 paper. So if you were making a larger journal, the 12 by 12 would fit in perfect. But I cut it to nine by nine and I gave the instructions at the beginning of this video. I just thought the black and white was a good contrast with this, but yet coordinated with the uh, ephemera pieces. So this is not completely done, but I'll show you what I've done so far. Uh, this is our folder, and it has um, a pocket on each end, and a pocket here and here. And so I've just put inside there uh, something that I'm going to decorate some more. But this will have a tag in this side that will be decorated. A tag or something in this pocket. And over here, I did go ahead and decorate the pocket or this, this pocket that's on this piece. I used a piece of our, uh, just the blue stripe paper again and some ribbon and the little tool piece and my flowers again. And inside the pocket is uh, one of our little journal cards from the kit. And so then I'll put something else in this pocket and this pocket. And I will decorate the back. This will be uh, sewn into the center of this journal insert that's inside the big journal. I'll decorate the back of this and this page. But over here is one of the pieces that I actually did right. But this is how that was supposed to work. The um, This piece of ephemera, I cut in, in half and glued some cheesecloth and glued this down. And this is made by um, cutting a piece and then uh, score it in thirds and then this would be half of this and half of this. And the way that you fold it, it, it comes open like so. You can journal inside, you can journal on the back. Then I had a kind of a dilemma because um, I had this hanging over the edge so I couldn't really tie it with a ribbon or anything to close it. So I decided that I would use one of my clips and clip it to one of our pages. And that way, this page will have some decorating on it, but it will also be another page for writing. So that is what I've done so far. And uh, I hope you will enjoy, have enjoyed this video. And I will come back for more as I continue to work on this. I wanted to go ahead and get this up because um, uh, I didn't want it to be too long. And this will kind of give you an idea how I am going to use this travel journal and then the smaller journal to insert in the center of it. When I get done, I will probably put an eyelet in the front or back and tie a ribbon around it to close this whole journal up. So I thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed and will be inspired to get started on your Bluebird of Happiness journal uh, made from the Eleanor's Diary collection or choose your own designs and use some of the concepts that I've used here. So thank you for watching and have a great day and I'll see you soon.